celebrate I'll count one up to three as we welcome the woman of God to the front. Are you excited? Are you expectant? Are you expectant? Are you, are you ready? Are you saying that I'll never go back the same? Are you saying that I'll never go back the same? One, two, three, let's shout. once again. Women on fire 2019. It's here again. It's here again. And we thank the Lord he has honored our prayers. We launched this last year and you can mark my weed. I said next year we are no longer in this place. We are shifting and we are growing bigger and bigger. And this is exactly what is happening. This is exactly what is happening. From one level of glory to another level of glory. And next year, it will be much, much hotter than this time allowed. Amen. 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 You are a man is paralyzed. I say amen. Amen. You can do much better. You can do much better than that. Oh, we thank God. We thank God. Wow. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Yeah. Before I take you into the word of God, I just want to thank the woman of God, the, the landlord of Zomba. Amen. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. Taking the challenge hosting it again, taking the challenge. May God honor you and bless you. In the whole leadership of Zomba, God bless you for organizing this meeting. For organizing this meeting. For organizing this meeting. And this afternoon, the man of God is blessing this conference. He's laid for us and he's coming. And I want to thank all the women of God in the Eastern Legion, all the pastors. Uh, we thank God for you. And all, the, all the members in the Eastern Legion, we thank God for you. And I cannot forget all the visitors. Here. You are at the right place. Minister to our life, you never go back the same. You never go back the same. You are sick, you are looking for something. The, the meeting is just loaded, just loaded. You just need to, to open up yourself and to say, Lord, I am here to receive. And I'm going to receive your portion. You are going to receive your portion. Amen. And all the members who are in this house, you are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. Yeah, the bishop from Lilongwe. Yeah, Mzuzu is here. Everyone is just here. The representatives from all the regions. Mulanje is here. Chewi is here. Luchenza is here. Deza is here. Wow, we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. It's just an amazing. It's just an amazing. Wherever you are, just stand up. Wherever you are, just stand up. Just stand up. 
I believe you came here for for a reason. And you just want God to touch your life. You just want God to touch your life. Amen. Who are here for the first time? You are here for the first time. Wow. 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 Thank God for you. to be in this place we want to sing this song fire 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 fell on me on the day of Pentecost fire fell on me that one that one only one song are you ready are you ready give a shout of praise unto the Lord on the day of Pentecost Fire fell on me. I say on the day of Pentecost, fire fell. I say fire, 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 fire. 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 I say fire, 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 fire. fire fell on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. It's on the day of Pentecost. Hands they're cutting fire. 
Lord and do say Lord I love you with all my heart with all my soul with all my soul I love you Jesus I love you Jesus just worship him he's everything he wants you he wants you just worship him and say Lord I love you so much you are the love of my heart you are the love you are my strength you are my strength you are my strength you are my strength
today. Makatara baba baba baba. Reke tera baba sata baba baba. Speak it out in there at the back. Speak it out. How desperate you are. How desperate you are for the new fire. How desperate you are. How much do you want God? How much do you want God? The preacher is equal to the hundred souls. Preacher delivers how hard the people are. How desperate you are. The new wave in our spirits. Be so desperate for you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. How desperate you are. Hallelujah. Father, we are hungry for you more. We are hungry for more. We are hungry for more. Touch my body. Touch my spirit. Touch everything about me. And renew it once more. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's how much God can deliver us to us. It's that much how God can do it to us. How much do you want from God? How desperate are you for the fire? How desperate are you? Provoke God! Provoke God! Provoke Him for the new fire! You don't know how much hungry I am today! How much hungry and desperate for the new things! For the fire of the Spirit! Speak it out. God is ready for us, ladies. We just want the hungry and desperate woman that says, Lord, I want the new thing. I want the revival in my soul. I want the revival in my spirit. I have walked in dryness. I've moved in dryness for the past six months. There was nothing. My tongues were like nothing. I was like I'm hitting the wall. I was like I'm hitting the wall. The past three months. Lord, this is the day that you have provided for me. And Lord, I'm ready to receive it all from you. You cannot fake before the Father. You cannot fake before the Father. God knows your heart. God knows how long you have been. You were not even reading the Bible. You are not. You didn't have even ten pro player. Oh, what we are looking at, we are looking about your problems. Do this to me, Lord. Do this to me. Today, Lord, is reviving you. Is rekindling your fire. If you were on fire already, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, It's about to raise your ladder. It's about to do something good. Something light. Something excellent. Something brilliant. Hungry souls are here, Father. Desperate spirits are here. Desperate spirits are here, Lord. I'm telling you from today, you are going to have a word in that area, in the area of your finances. There will be the times of fire. The Spirit is about to do it in the area of your head. God is about to restore your body. In the area of your family, you have the word. After today, your life will never be the 
For less, Jesus Christ has done it all for us. Sometimes the devil takes advantage, he takes advantage on us because we don't know what Jesus has done in our lives. The day you realize you are the one carrying the fire of the spirit that demon will never stand on your way that force will never stand on your way that torture will never stand on your way you discover your ministry has taken another angle but most of the time we don't know the bible says my people they are dying because of the, the ignorant of who I am. They are ignorant of who I am to them. They are dying because of lack of knowledge. That's what the Bible says. And today, I am declaring in your life that lack of knowledge will disappear in the name of Jesus. God is about to open your eyes. He's about to open your eyes. And you are going to see what you call it. You are going to discover who you are. And you are going to lie on the mount. Open for me Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Oh, so tall, oh boy. The Bible says when the day of the Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. One accord in one place. And suddenly they came a sound from heaven as of a lashing mighty wind. And it filled the house. And there appeared it filled the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each one of them. When the day of the Pentecost was full and come, they were all in one accord. In one spirit. In unity. And suddenly it appeared like a mighty lashing wind. And sudden came sound like heaven as a lashing mighty wind. And it filled the place where they were seated. seated. And they appeared cloven tongues like so as of fire. They appeared cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat at each one of them. And immediately verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. You can see the, what God was doing at this face. It wasn't just about the tongues of speaking in tongues. Something was happening. The Bible says first it appeared like tongues of fire. Love and like fire on each one of them. As of fire, that was the first thing that happened. And after that, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And now they start speaking in tongues. They all started 
started speaking in tongues. And you can see God wasn't looking about the speaking of tongues. Yes, speaking of tongues is powerful. But being filled by the fire of the Holy Ghost makes you something else. There are a lot of people who are filled with the Holy Spirit. But the Spirit is just dormant inside of them. They cannot do anything with the speaking of tongues. But my sister, the day the Lord will baptize with the fire, you will never sit down. You will never remain idle. You will rise up and do charge. You rise up and you charge. That's what the, 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 the fire does in our life. Then we are all filled. And on each one of them. Cloven like tongues of fire. Cloven like fire. And it starts on each one of them. It is stood on each one of them. Tongues of fire. Cloven tongues of fire. It is stood on each one of them. And no wonder. After what it happened. Peter stood out. Bodiness world in them. Courage world in them. The same people they were afraid of. They were not afraid of them anymore. Something might happen on each one of them. Peter for the first time. As you know at the first chapter. Chapter 1 the Bible says. And he said unto them. Wait in Jerusalem. Until you are baptized by the fire. Wait until the Holy Ghost comes on you. And there you shall be my witnesses. From Jerusalem and the uttermost of the earth. Women, there's something that happens to a life. Peter, for the first time, he stood out. Bodiness was in him. And that's one thing that the holy fire does in our life. It brings bodiness out in our spirits. It brings bodiness out in our spirits. It brings courage out in our spirits. Mm-hmm. For the first time you discover who you are. You are a little identity that comes out. Your little identity comes out. Peter stood out. For the first time, he discovered he's not a coward person. He's not supposed to be in Jerusalem. He's supposed to go out and preach. And declare the good news. That's why in chapter 3, when you read chapter 3, the Bible says, Peter, as he was going to the to the temple to worship there stood a man and you know what Peter did you see, he said you red man look at me look at us coward goes out see look at me the bible says he, he looked steadfast in his eyes. There was something that was coming out from the but eyes of Peter. He wasn't the same Peter anymore. He was loaded with the fire of the spirit. Oh, God is doing something to someone today. God is doing something to someone today. God, I'm saying God is doing something to someone today. Why you look down upon yourself? Could you also an anti I don't know. Sometimes you look down upon yourself. Because that fire in that area has not been yet been rekindled in your life. The day that fire is kindled in your spirit. That area that is torturing you. That pain that is troubling you. It will never be 
hit a pen anymore. You rise up and shine. You rise up and shine. I'm giving you the appetite. The appetite for you to love the fire of the spirit. Christianity today is dying. It has got no value. Sisters, they can fornicate the way they want. Sisters, they can abort the way they want. Sisters, they can do anything for the sake of man. Because something is not happening in their lives. And I'm not saying about those people outside. I'm talking to the born again Christians. Ladies, those that love the Lord, they call themselves the speaking tongues. But inside, something is dying in them. What you need is nothing. You need the unlocking of the fire of the Holy Ghost in that particular area. We are lacking the evangelists today. Like Catherine Truman, the women who stood for the kingdom of God. Truman's were just disappearing in their eyes. Today I'm crying for such women to lies where they can look at the demon in the eye and they can say, You demon, come out in her. We are the girlfriend crewman of today. We are the sisters on fire today. We are the sisters who can stand and declare the gospel. Among us, the main. We are they today. Something is dying in our midst. And it's high time, sisters. We need to stand up and we say, I have got a judgmental fire in me. I have that judgmental fire in my spirit. Look to Matthew 3, verse 11. John said, I'm not worthy to unlock his sandals. I'm nobody. I'm just nobody. I'm nobody. The higher is coming. The greater is coming. The greater is coming. Whose sandals I'm not worth it to, to unload them. And when that man will come, he will not baptize with you water. That man, when he comes, is going to baptize you with the spirit of fire. And real baptism. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. Fire for what? And John is, is quoting. This man is greater than I am. This man is greater than I am. He is greater. I cannot even understand him. He's going to baptize him with the, the spirit and the fire. And where do you think that man is today? That man is you today. That man is you today. That man is you today. You are not just carrying him. You are becoming the little Jesus. And you are greater. Demons cannot do anything. You are greater. You are so powerful. That man lives in you. That man has become us today. Has come us today. Has come us today. It's not just like any man. Has come in you. That great and mighty God. That you cannot afraid of anything. Mm. Are you afraid to take that job? I am hearing that sound. Don't be afraid. 
you are the greater than I. You are the greater Yama is inside of you. You can take that job. You are saying this thing is troubling me. This thing is torturing me. I have got a good news today. The great I am is inside of you. You can live again. You can speak again. You can speak again. The greater is inside of you. That brings judgment. That brings judgment. It's in you. It's in your spirit. Lives inside of your spirit. When you read Matthew 5 verse 13. 14 especially verse 14. Matthew chapter 5 14. Hey. I'm talking to someone today. I know. I know. And I know the demon is afraid. The demons are afraid today. Today, I'm telling you, you are catching it. You have been waiting for it. How am I going to do to be like that? Today, today, you are becoming that. You never go back the same. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be healed. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. That's what the Bible says. But you should understand you cannot be the city on a city on top of a mountain. You cannot carry the light without the fire. In fact, fire, light is the product of fire. That's the fact. Light is a product of fire. What makes you, what Jesus was trying to say, he was trying to say you are a city on top of a mountain because a greater yam is in you. You are that light. But something that causes that light is inside of your spirit. And that's the fire. You become timid to speak out the voice. Why you, you become timid to speak out the voice. It's because the fire inside of you is little. It cannot blossom. It cannot speak out. It cannot blossom. But the, the day you catch the fire you speak like Peter. For the first time. Chapter 2 is the longest chapter. Because now Peter, he had a lot to speak out. Because of what was burning inside of his spirit. The fire inside of his spirit makes him to come out on top of the mountain and speak out the voice. Don't cry. I am a city on the mountain. The first thing for you to cry, you cry for the fire of God to burn inside of you. Let it burn your heart. Let it melt inside of you. Because it's the product. Light comes because of that fire. And the city on top of the mountain. And this 15 it says, Verse 15. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bush, but on top of a candlestick, and it gives light unto all that is in the house. He said, No man, no man lights a candle and put it under. It's 
just impossible. When the fire is burning, everyone sees what we are doing. You become noisy. Someone asked me, why mama posts every time I've got something to do in the kingdom of God? Every time, it's like you have got something to do. See, there's something inside of me. It's not what you see. There is something that makes me to shine. It's the fire that the Holy Spirit has embedded in me. That fire causes me to shine on top of a mountain. And I'm not done. I'm not done with Malawi. Amen. We are going as far as we can. We are taking every sister out there. We are making them the same light. We are making them the same fire. Because I cannot release the fire. And the one that have released the fire remaining the same. It's just impossible. When I release the fire, whoever touches the fire becomes the fire. That's what it happens. changes. You know a good example. Mm. And I'm going to You know what you do? You light something. Guess what when you light that thing? The same darkness Dima from wewe. nowhere it becomes that's exactly what God does with your spirit. When He spark your spirit, it is pompo 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 pompo. Makapompo. is pompo pompo. The same darkness in that particular area. It must go. It should go. I want you to look at your situation. What you are passing through. It might be like Elijah. When you lead first kings. Oh my God. Amen. First kings. First kings. 19. 13 to 14. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening to someone today. Something is happening to someone today. The Bible says, and it was so when Elijah held like that, he lapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said, Doesn't thou hear Elijah? 14. And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant. The same jealousy is the way zeal. 
It is the same way you find it in Deuteronomy. The Bible says, I am a consuming fire. Dash. I am a zealous God. It is the same way. In other version, the Bible says, and he has been very... I have been, he said, I have been zealous for God. Now they are learning after me. Why do they learn after you? And God knew something has died in this man. Why are they learning after you? Why do they seek after your life? Yes, you are confessing I have been zealous for God. But now they are learning after me to kill me. And God said, it's done with you. It's done with you. I cannot work with you anymore. There's nothing inside of your spirit. Zero has died in him. He doesn't have any fire anymore. He is not even seeing the out where he should go. And this is what happened. When you lose the fire, your voice becomes timid. The same things you, you were shining, the same fasting you were loving, you start running away from fasting. You become afraid of the same thing that we are saying, you demon, you cannot touch me. I am a child of God. When the fire lands out of you, you cannot you become afraid. But when there is fire inside of your spirit, the fire of the Lord is burning inside of you. You speak out. You say, devil, you are a liar. Elijah couldn't fight anymore. He learned after his life. And God said, I'll anoint Jehu. And he's going to become the king. And the same Jezebel that you are learning, he's going to fight. When you read the second kings, you see the story of Jehu. How he mobilized with wisdom. How he kicked out every worship of Baal. And he destroyed them all. Because the fire was in him. And this you find it on second kings. On second kings. On second kings. You see what the Bible says. I just want you to hear that chapter. Then I'll come back and I'll finish. I'll up it everything. I'll up everything. Then second kings. 10 verse 16. 2 Kings 10 16. The Bible says, And he said, Come with me and see my zeal. For the Lord saw they made him lie in his chariot. I want you to mark the word zeal. Zeal also is the product of fire. You understand me? It is the product of, of fire. You can never become zealous for something when there's no fire of the spirit inside of you. You become zealous and you fight for what you want because there's a zeal for God inside of you. You fight for your future. You fight for what you want. Because there is zero inside of you. And he said, come and see. Come with me and see my zeal for the Lord. And as we read the other chapters, you understand how this man killed every the prophets of Ba. Elijah failed to kill. He was learning after his life, after destroying 400 prophets of Ba, he 
And this time around, he said, I cannot fight anymore. This is exactly what happens. But it's not like that when the zeal of the Lord is inside of you. You speak for your future. I know you are a great minister of the gospel. I know you are a woman of God. And the devil is taking advantage. He is taking your zeal out. He is taking the fire out. He is squeaking the fire out of you. And cause you to become afraid. So that you cannot fight for what you want to but not from today, women of God. Not from today, my sisters. Something is coming up back in us. The journey is too long. Sisters, the journey is too long for your life. You are a born again for a purpose. There is a big ministry inside of you. There is a great family inside of you. You cannot give up now. And it's my prayer today that the Lord is rekindling that zeal inside of you. For the first time you rise up and say no more from today. And do not for, for sure, sisters, if there are people who the devil is attacking so mightly and greatly in this end times, there are us women. There are us women. But you know what? We have got a weapon in our hands. The zeal. The zeal. The hunger. The fire of the spirit of God. Will cause us to fight again. All these things that are happening amongst the women. They are about to be destroyed. They are about to be destroyed. For the first time. Jehu killed them all. He disowned. By using one principle. Wisdom. And this is another thing that the fire of the Lord. When it is on you. Does. It gives you wisdom. It gives you the best strategy ever. Can I hear a big amen, sisters? Amen. It gives you the best strategy ever. You know how just to kill that demon. You know how to take that job. You know how to take that business. The business that many women they are not they are they are not doing it for the first time. You find the best strategy in that company and you say we are going to do this and we are going to take all the manners. Jehu find the best strategy. He took all the prophet of Ba. You are going to leave it on yourself. He took all the prophets of Ba and put them in one room. And he, he faked, he said, from today, I am one of the prophets of Ba. And I want to have a feast with them. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, let people see you like you are crazy. You be amongst the wicked people, and people will say, Why this is this sister always is amongst those people? They have got something good. You want to tap the, what they have. And God gives you the strategy, the best way to be amongst those people for the sake of you to kill them and take them to yourself. Bring them to the kingdom of God and avenge them all. And when he avenge them all in one place, Jehu said, I am one of you. He took every prophet of Ba and, and put them in that room. And he said, I am one of you. Wow. This is what the fire does. This is what the fire does when it's burning in you. And he was crazy. He was crazy. 
Follow me. Let's do this. And he said, I am coming. And he locked them in one room. And he went out. And he said, if you are not prophet of Ba, get out in this room. I am one of them and want to, to have a feast here. And he locked them at press. After locking them, he called some people and they were there. And he said, slain them all. And he destroyed them all. This is what the fire of the spirit does. Sisters, there is an army that is rising in God us. God is going to give you strategy. He's going to give you the wisdom. With the fire that you are carrying inside of you. He's going to give you the wisdom. How you are going to take over. How you are going to grow your ministry. It's too late for you to settle down. And in fact, it's too early for you to give up. Because the fire that is burning in you is just too much. And I'm telling you what I'm saying now, the devil knows. The devil knows the fire that we are carrying. He knows the fire that we are carrying. And that's what the Bible says. When you read Joel 2 verse 2, you see the characteristics. 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 Amen. You see the characteristics of the, 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 the women who carry. You see the characteristics of the last army. Masha. God is too much in this place, I'm telling you. God is just too much in this place. This army in the last days. The Bible is saying when you read Joel 2, starting from 2, the Bible is saying, This is the army that I am seeing. This army, they are not afraid. This army is not timid. This army in the last days, they are not cowards. They are the go getter of what they want. They invade into a territory and they said, On the walls, we are going to climb. We are going to climb. And this generation, the Bible is saying, they will go into their land. No one will break the land. They will not look this side. They will not look what the other is doing. They will look what God has given to them. And they will march like a mighty army. Mashakata. Who go like a mighty army? Who go like a mighty army? These are the characteristics of the women that carries the fire. This is the generation of fire ladies. I feel like I remove my shoes. Masataraba. This is the characteristics of the last army. The Bible is saying, chapter, chapter 3, chapter 3. Oh, give me chapter 2 first. Give me chapter 2 first. I say, a day of darkness and of gloaming, gloominess. A day of clouds and a thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people, can you say a great people? You are not speaking as you are carrying the fire. Can you say it again? Great, great people and a strong. No, 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 no. You could be it and can. There has not been ever like, neither shall be any after it. Amen. This is the generation. It will never be like this generation. Sisters, this is the last generation. When the mighty army is rising again. They have never been. And after them, they will never be. What a privilege. That God 
can trust us with the fire in the last time because you know what God knows what we are passing through now what we are passing through in this generation and God has loved us so much and he has given us the fire and we are called the fire generation there will never be and after them there will never be also Amen. Many years to never be. And chapter 3 Mazantara bababaya. Rieke terebos. A fire devour before them. And behind them a flame bends. There is a fire before us. And the flame is burning behind us. When we are moving, the devil knows this. He sees the fire of God at your back. And he sees the fire of God in front of you. And as you are marching, this fire is speaking for you. He said, go sister, go sister, go sister. Take the territories, take the sisters, speak the gospel, speak the fire, speak the gospel. I am behind you. I am before you. Behind them, a desolate wilderness. Yeah, nothing shall escape them. What shall it going to escape us? The Bible says nothing shall escape us. We are carrying the fire. And the demon knows this. If you want to keep that, it's up to you. But the Bible says, in the last generation, the generation of fire, nothing is going to escape them. Nothing. When the Bible says nothing, it means nothing. This is the word of God. The word of God is infallible. It carries the nature of himself. And sisters, it's up to us to let these things, whatever, whatever, what name it is calling itself, to torture your life. To torture your life. You are a generation of fire. You are a generation of fire. I'm saying you are that generation of fire. In this end time, in these last days, verse 4. Verse 4. This is the meat part. This is the meat part. If you are not going to be one, two, and three, you are not going to be Because God is doing something. Is doing something. The Bible says their appearance of them is as as appearance of horses. And as horsemen shall they learn. First of all, it's our appearance. How we are appearing in front of the people. What you are inside speaks a lot how you are outside. If your spirit is a coward, is a cowardish spirit, if your spirit is a God getter, you appear in the same order. The first voice speaks itself, speaks itself of who your spirit is inside. And the people know this sister, this sister is too much. This pastor, this lady pastor is just too much. The way she speaks. Mm -hmm. It's not the way you speak. It is the abundance of your heart. How the spirit of God has molded you. The nature of your spirit. The nature of your spirit is of fire. It's of fire. It's of fire. It is of fire. When you read in Corinthians, the Bible says the same. We shall be reviewed. We shall be exposed. We shall be indeed exposed. And be tried in fire. 
the same way the appearance you find it in Romans 8 verse 19 the same appearance Masha Katar Manderebebebo Manderebebebe 19 the Bible says for the earnest expectation of this creature waits for the manifestation of the sons of God Amen. the same appearance it is the same the way the manifestation it is the same way we are taking it from a way the apocalypse you understand me? From the way apocalypse is. Apocalypse is just to be reviewed. Being exposed. I say, it is waiting for the manifestation. For the revelation of the sons of God. You know what? Devil cannot fear anything. That thing that you want to do cannot just come on your way for itself. It needs your appearance. The first appearance talks much. You know for sure. You know for sure. It is speaking a lot. My appearance speaks a lot of who I am. So, the apocalypse the revelation how God has done into our spirit speaks more of your outcome that's why it says on joy go back to my joy I just wanted you to, to understand this way manifestation the same joy after that appearance this guy, verse 5 can verse, that verse 5 verse 4 I'm not with, done with it it says Fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast. Fast. Follow, you follow, two, follow. Masha God. Their appearance, them, is as the appearance of horses. And as horsemen, we shall learn. Amen. You know my horses, the horses have got hinged legs. My legs are, they are so powerful. It's not just about their appearance. But when they appear, they are looking like horsemen. Now their nature, their identity. Amen. 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 Their identity. too much. They are like horsemen. And they learn. They learn so powerfully. They learn so powerfully. No one can just attack them. This is the best description ever about the last generation. And verse 6, verse, verse 5, it continues saying, like the noise of chariots, on the tops of mountains they shall leap like the noise of flame of fire amen mm. amen so the bible not just talking about the weight of god not just leading the rema weight no, I mean, do, not just leading the Logos weight. But after leading the Logos, the, you go into Rema, you get the real transformation of your life. You get the real identity of your spirit. And you bring that out. And you say the real identity of your spirit from now. The Bible saying, like the noise of frames of fire, that devours the stumble, as strong people sit in array. Strong people sit in array. And on the six, the Bible saying, strong people setting in a rage before their face the people shall be mashed paint and all faces shall gather in blackness oh my god seven 
They shall run like a mighty man. Amen. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Amen. They shall march everyone on its ways. Amen. And they shall not break their lungs. Mm. God help us. These are our, our characteristics. These are the characteristics of the generation of power. We will all learn in our lungs. Who we'll go straight. Who we'll not look to what Kisoma is doing. Who we'll not look to what Yvonne is doing. I will not look to what my brother is doing. You will not just look to what Mama Apostle is doing. In this last army, we are, we are going to have a noise eh? who climb the walls and each one of us. I'm saying you will not look what your neighbor is cooking. Because what your neighbor is cooking, you will also have it. I'm saying you will not have jealous of one another because that's what one another that your friend has you will also have it this is what God is saying and each one of us your gift her gift her gift all of us in one array we are marching to take over the nations. We are marching. Her ministry. Her ministry. You never like. Mm, has too much. No, 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 no. That's not the generation of fire. The generation of fire. It looks like what he has is best. You look what you have is the best. And what you are contributing to the kingdom of God. It will all go in one court. What that church is that church is doing and what fountain is doing who never like I will not go. It's theirs. No, 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 no. The generation of fire. We all land together as one army. And we are going to achieve the purpose. Each one marching into the destiny. And together we are going for our destiny. Together we are going for our destiny. As we are marching. They will not take advantage of us. And will not be ignorant of what is doing. Some of the division that the church is experiencing. Devil doesn't want us to go in one accord as a church. He doesn't want us to move as one army. We go into the kingdom of God. We evangelize every place. He wants us to divide us and say, I can't. It is hers. Not from today. Today you are changing. And God is lifting your banner high. This is the generation. This is generation. This is the generation. My time is against me. So most have to offer my God. I'm saying this is the generation. We are going to get what God has given in each one of us. Your ministry is powerful by yourself. Your identity in the kingdom of God matters a lot. What you are doing matters a lot. Fire is coming on your way. Just close your eyes and say, I am that generation. I am a God getter. I will be noisy as never before. If my boss thought I am done with taking my company into the kingdom of God, I am not done yet. I'll go into the markets. That's what the Bible says. The appearance who go into the streets, who climb the wall. If there will be a stumbling block on our way, who never stumble. Oh, our spirit are so tough. That's what the fire does in us. It makes your spirit so tough. 
You cannot fear anything. This is what I'm talking to you, sister. What is it that has turned on your way? What is it that is going after your destiny? What is it that is going after your family? You are climbing that stump. That is tough. That's what the verse, the verse is saying. One of the calisthenics he says, Chintengo chistambo, chistengo chayima banjira yako. And it's saying, sister, my ambandi kale kunongo na zambuye. Koma look to what is happening. It's like nothing is happening to you. You say, no, I am a generation of fire. Although this is looking like chintengo chayima banjira yako. She's stumbling block. You stumble on that stumbling block. And you push it by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I am pushing you to that. I am pushing you to that. I am pushing you to that. You to that. You to that. With the fire of the Holy Ghost. Speaking tongues. And speak like you carry the fire. Speak as you carry the fire. Today that fire is on you. Today you are being reviewed. Today you are being manifested. Today you are being appearing. And it's not only the appearing. It also says they are noisy. They are noisy. They are noisy. Noisy. That's what the generation of fire does. They will not just appear as horsemen. We will not just learn. But as we are learning, we will make a lot of noise. It will be like a mighty lashing wind. It will be like a mighty lashing pitch. It will be noisy. The voice is like a tuluka. Kakuapa. Kakuapa, but not from today. Although it was looking like a stumbling block, you become noisy as never before. If you can stand, stand wherever you are, stand wherever if it's possible. But God is just too much in this place. Generation of fire, the generation of fire, the generation of fire, generation of fire on top of the mountain, on top of the mountain, a city on top of a mountain. It's because of the fire that we are carrying today. We'll be on top of the mountain and we'll make a lot of noise. We'll make a lot of noise. I'm talking to that pain that we're going through. That man that says, You are God, you are God, you are God. From today. That money, some of us is about money. Money is like a stumbling block. It makes our voice to not to, to, to come to come so, so powerful. Not to come so like a mighty wind. Because of lack of money. Lacking of money, sister, it's not the description of your life. That thing is for a moment. But you know you are carrying the fire. Day, that fire is speaking out. Today that fire is speaking out. Today that fire is speaking out. Just lay your hands. Makaya soka tororaba. Ya mama 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 nderebe. Ya nderebo soko toroba baba baba. Ya nderebo zeke terebo baba baba. Fire generation. Fire generation. Fire the generation. Jesus has done it. The fire of the Lord is working on you. You are becoming louder. You have a voice. You have a voice. Your tongues will not be just tongues. Your tongues will be loaded by fire. You will be loaded by fire. I put the mouth of God inside of you. I put it. Take it. I load you. I load you. Fire. Fire from today. You are. From today you are fire. 
Blessed him will not sing, just singing. The tongues of fire will come out of your spirit. Your voice will be louder than before. When you sing, people get healed. People get healed. I am big. Receive it. I'm changing your spirit. I'm changing your spirit by the fire. 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 That will never be the same. She will never be the same. Lord. Yes, take it. More. 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 What is it? 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 I am putting the fire. What is it? Fire generation. Fire generation. Oh, fire generation. Fire generation. Yeah, untouchable. We are untouchable. We are untouchable. You are untouchable. It doesn't matter. You are giving your life to Jesus today. It doesn't matter. You be untouchable. Fire. Masakata. Makata. Fire. Mama fire. Be healed. Be healed. Receive the fire. I said receive the fire. Fire. We are untouchable. That voice is coming out. Fire. Demon leave. Leave him. Fire. Fire. You are untouchable. He thought you cannot speak. He thought you cannot speak. Thought you 